Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Warprop Bavarian, and just yesterday our father passed away, Yabku Bulent the Ogre's Maroda. He is now gone. The reasons and who did it we do not know, but we do know that we have to fulfill his legacy. We have to go through with what he couldn't do. We have to finish his project. The project of destruction of the world. Now the thing is... Our quest for immortality, our quest for survival, our quest for world destruction has ended. But, Yapguinar II of Chelbia is still possessed by an entity summoned by his own father, maybe by part of his father. I'm honestly going to play it as if his father possessed him. As if it is like an Horcrux, a Horcrux, a part of him that is now in control of his son. But don't be confused. First thing we must do is take care of Yabgu Ertugrul of Uzus. We took his title in the past and we shall take it in the future. Now we also have to hand out three different titles. I'm just going to do that real quick. And apparently not to you. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I can give you titles. I'm going to do that. That's okay. Can I give maybe now give him? No? Okay, well. What can you do, eh? Not even here. Only him. Yeah, it appears so. He has a clear dominance here. He knows what he's doing. Oh, these also declared independence from me. So just, if you don't know how horse lords properly work, the way it is, once the Kagan, or in this case, uh, our title is Yapku, once they die, what happens is every clan gets a decision to declare independence. And the way I see it, one, two, three, four clans declared independence the rest stayed with us which is nice i shall reward them for that i shall keep them close to our heart so that nobody will betray us in the future would you accept me splitting the clan apparently not well, that's just ridiculous mm, i don't like it but i'm just gonna call every okay they wouldn't actually aid me huh 11k, are you joking? They won't aid- oh, I know why they won't aid me. I have to take them out. I have to... Ah, there you go, now they- oh, I just- I didn't even need to give them what I gave them, but I did. And I hate it. They- the game just hadn't calculated how much they liked or hated me. God damn it. We're still constructing this, that's okay. Everybody will now join us in us. Please? Join me. In my struggle, please. No, apparently not. All right, look. I'm going to use this opportunity anyway. I can't fight them over here in the east. There's no way we're ever going to win that. But what we could be doing here is destroy the people in the west and then go east. That's That's my logic anyway. That's how I like to roll and how I like to do it. And now they also, they love joining me in this war, but not against the clan rebellion. That's interesting. That is a bit weird, if you ask me, but it is interesting. Oh, the Pechenegs just split apart. Interesting. So they also just died, but... Interesting. All right, maybe we can make something out of this. We need some more population, and then we can probably go ahead and actually absolutely decimate everybody in our way. I'm also actually going to lead this myself. And as you, as you will know, we are possessed and cruel. We will do exactly the same thing. These people have defied me. Uh, defied me. Nobody shall ever be in a position of defiance ever again. Every single one must go. And we have a peasant revolt, of course. How else could it be? Mm, God, I hate that. God damn it. All right, let's commit over here. We're also learning to fight better, which is nice. I think it's time to go east. Let's speed up these this clan uprising. They split, so we should be able to take care of them now. Oh, I know where they're going. I've seen this look before. Oh, no, they're actually not going for... I thought they, they went for a deal, but apparently no. Interesting. Hmm. Strange, but interesting. Um, I'm just gonna... Are you the clan uprising? Oh, you're a peasant revolt. I want to take care of you, absolutely. Let's go get him, boys. I think we can get this. 
Yeah, let's go. We got him real good. And now we are also a formidable fighter. Thanks to our experience in the field right here. That's a five chill. That sounds like a sound ambition to prolong our existence here. And with that, the clan uprising is gone. And I only have to look into you, the peasant revolt. Should be easy enough, frankly. They are resieging this, but I think we're doing fine. I think we are re-establishing the realm here. And I'm actually give all of you freedom so that you don't cost me anything in terms of attrition. Yo, this, I swear to God, could you stop running away, please? Thank you. God damn it. I'm busy, all right? I got stuff to do. Including resieging this because we now lost it. And, you know, double siege. I'm killing you. If you resist like this, I'm, I'm getting you. You're not getting away, you hear me? <laughs> this looks good so far to me. I, I don't know, you know, that's all I'm saying. Clap them all in irons. Absolutely. Could have killed them. Frankly, you know what? We might as well. Tyranny abroad, that's okay. Let's get rid of them, boys. I think I just eradicated a clan. There was a clan here once, but that's now just simply gone. I think I just killed an entire clan. Jesus Christ, man. Right, the Peasant Rebellion ended. We could usurp a title, but no need to do that, really. Once we unite this, the big chunk of our empire has or will have returned to us. Now, you know, we're doing pretty well here, all things considered. We could, of course, be doing better. Absolutely bring back the spoils. But as far as I'm concerned, we're doing way better than I originally anticipated this to go. You know, it's, it's always tough to kind of rebound once... You've taken over a clan, you know, once once your car uh, carnet kind of is falling apart. It's a struggle. It's It really is a struggle. But I think we were equipped, equipped enough anyway, to properly take care of this. And I'm going to hand over this one because that is not for me to hold. Global movement speed, absolutely. Please and thank you. I'm also going to give this out. I'm not going to give you out. I just need those two temples. Because that improves our moral authority. And our moral authority is fucking low. Let me tell you. Jesus, it's low. That's awful. Alright, we took care of that. Let's move west, I guess. What is this? Did somebody just fear? Oh, yeah, there's a kingdom. Not... Oh, that is the actual kingdom of Lithuania. He's done it. Lithuania has united. The realm of our faith may yet see a future inspiring leader i don't think we I, I mean it helps having it definitely doesn't hurt you know it's a it's a big kind of chunk of pocket change if you will let's just take him out as soon as possible here kill them all kill every single one of the people that we find during our struggles here now oh, that's too much i'm not sieging that down that takes too long this is fine i can take this couple of days and then we're gonna be done here you want to marry her? Sure. Speaking of marriage, do we have... Yeah, we have concubines. I, I took those. I must have taken those. At the end of the last episode. Let's put some key, uh, people... I almost said keeple, and I don't know why. Don't know what that would even mean. Take them all, boys. Take them all. The Uzus clan, of course, is definitely... And I'm just skipping those education events. It's definitely a very terrible clan because they have betrayed our religion even. They are Christians. Well, now they are barely anything, are they? Look at that. Beautiful. We need to give out one more county and I'm going to split the clan quite simply in Tarusa. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, I, you know what, you know what I want? I really want a court educa educator, please. There you go, there's too many people that need education. I think he, nope, he's not going to do an amazing job. You are going to, an ama nope, in the wrong religion. You are going to make an ama a amazing court tutor. But as you can see, we uh, took a lot of land, but all the tribal land that they had under them is now independent. And I think there's something to be said here for getting rid of of that standing in our way west so oh he's in our prison and we're called Ina the Vengeful that's a really cool name I think I'm just going to first of all you know what I completely forgot being possessed I think it makes sense to join the plague bringers mm. 
and then we're gonna execute you as you are. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna ransom you, I guess. And then I will kill you. Why is the council against this? There's no glory in this war. The council... I shall buy your favor, I guess. Apparently not. Nobody wants to sell me their favor, huh? There you go. Thanks, nerd. Aha! He who laughs last laughs longest. Finally, that blathering windback Vasilisa has left this fine earth. Well, everything will definitely be better without her. I have a lot of extra time on my... Who's this? It's just like a random... I, I mean, we probably killed her, right? No, poor health. Who the hell are you? Why do... What the fuck? How do you have so many rivals? How did he do that? It's called the Vengeful. I guess maybe because I killed all these... Relatives of it? Yeah, murdered close kin. Well, would you look at that? That does make sense, you know? Hmm, I could become a rival with this man, but I think I'm just gonna get a skull. Absolutely. And there he is, Skull of Facilisa. And where's my... Can I please get... There you go, thank you so much. Call in council support. Claire War. Subjugation. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That's what I'm here for. You wanna marry that lady? Sure. You think I care? Let's take him out. Get rid of them all. There's no mercy where we are going, where we are coming from, and what we're doing. You hear me? There's only the end and the death of our enemies. I don't know if this person, and I didn't even bring this up, but there is an idea that I had. There is a mod called Satanism Plus, and it gives us the opportunity to write properly, uh, P, <laughs> well, how do you call it? Extraordinarily dominant. It can give us a genuine church dominant uh, sort of tolerance, probably? Sure. So what I'm saying is that uh, if we chose to take that, right, what it would do is it would give us the option to actually properly become the Church of Satan uh, instead of just, you know, worshipping in him in secret and having to have a cover religion. What do you, I'm not saying we're doing this because, as I said in the last episode, there's I have no idea what we're actually going to do considering that uh, these characters go beyond the original planning that I had. And I don't want to micro them where they, you know, have to become mad-eyed or they have to become uh, greedy, sure. They have to become, you know, uh, anything else, you know, be it Orthodox or Jewish or whatever. They don't appear to be really care for this at this time and I'm gonna duel this. I have a 120 duel skill. I think I prefer you dead. So the way I see it, this is not for me a topic of like, hey, this is what I want to do long term. For me, this is more a topic of, hey, what makes sense? And uh, I mean, that mod really does make sense to me. I will, I will say it. You know, I'm not settled in on that yet. I have, I have no commitment to that mod as of now. But I'm telling you straight up, that shit, that looks crazy good. I've never played with it. It looks very unique. You know, you, I think you could definitely get that going and feel good about it. Have a good time with it. Let's get some tech points going. I guess somebody even told me about tech points. And you're right, of course. I, I probably should care a bit more about it. But right now, I'm like, eh. I think it's okay. You know, we are still dominating left and right. I mean, not really a debate about that, is there? You stopped a lot of titles here. This right there. Oh, would you look at that? Nice. Good job, buddy. I wish you would destroy it, though. I hate that they don't destroy the land that they find, although that would probably mean in a realistic gameplay setting that they just constantly kind of have everyone die. And it's just like, eh, I don't know about that one. They keep sending us these missionaries that I can kill. So this also means to me that this migration will occur but even our son right now, our father, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Our father definitely was somebody. He would have done it to dominate the world, to destroy everything. All of culture. We right now, we're not like him. 
we're even better when it comes to fighting and killing and merging, but at the same time, we are possessed. So I think we are kind of acting in his spirit, even if we are not literally him. Well, they haven't accepted me yet, huh? Despite being possessed, that's not okay. How dare they? Noble of the name uh, Su Chiong Mao came to court today seeking asylum. He claims to have escaped from China. So awful. Let's try to send him to the Emperor, sure. Don't care for him. Who is it? Who gives a shit about some random ass dude? Who art though? What is this? Sure. 98%. I'm going to defeat this army. They are just a rebellion. I don't know what it means though. And we just... He fled before the Emperor could get him, so too bad. Oh, what do you look at this? This dude is getting defeated by the Western Protectorate? That's wild. They really have some time to waste, don't they? Ah, look at this. I'm not going to read this, but this... They're like... Uh, it's done. This is it. They're recruiting us for the Secret Society, and I'm a big, big fan. I mean, you know I'm a big fan. I'm not going to resist my foul impulses. Yes, make me greedy. Make me sinful. And I know that I'm sieging down... Oh, let's go. Put them all to the sword, boys. And then we have this... What, what are you? You just exist now. Really? Just exist, huh? Ah, I need to buy yet another favor, it appears. Revoke title. Buy a favor, thank you. We also can build up Kanbalik even further. Let's go with the global supply limit. The global supply li limit is honestly huge, and we're almost at 30k. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, now let's talk about revoking his titles. Alright, there you go. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, you hear me? Oh, we have a... Uh, you may live for now, okay? He may live for now because we have a peace treaty with him. God damn it. Can't do an invasion here, so I think we're just going to go with a subordination. I think we're going to move in here and then we're going to declare war for like this because this stuff is going to become independent anyway. So let's just move in right here. Let's, let's destroy Pachinakes. At this very moment. They have Cherkesistan under their... Under their fingers. I think we want to take this. Absolutely. Sure. Don't see why not. Then we will border the Byzantines. That's as simple as it gets sometimes. Sometimes that is indeed. As simple as it gets. Why would they all decline? Await the messenger. Empress, Dowager... Mutlu. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, look at her. She's the messenger. Oh, we're gonna definitely take her as our concubine. I mean, couldn't I? I'm gonna set you aside, please. I, I would like to set this lady aside. What? Oh, she's pregnant. Right. She's only 26 too, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense to, to set her aside. I want to set you aside. You're very boring. You're not an interesting concubine. Sorry about that, mate. Hey, you. When you concubine. Good. Let's go, boys. I want to call in the one that I can, at least. And let's take part in the ritual and fall in love with her. Absolutely. She's a strong ally, for sure. Now time to get rid of so many Pachinakes standing in our way. Get them all, boys. Get them all. And she is feeling less chivious and just suggested we might stage an impromptu orgy together. Absolutely. I feel great. Izir dies. Fertility plus 25. Damn. Ooh, let's duel him. He has a skill of zero. Ah, okay, he took it over. Wants me to sacrifice a dwarf. You know what? Let's try it. It's so tough to find a dwarf in this world, I swear. I can never find any. Whenever they give you these missions, I'm always like, this is so unrealistic. There's... I can't find anybody. Are you a dwarf, my friend? You're not a dwarf. Goodbye, then. 
Let's meet him up there. Ergus becomes Orgus. Beautiful. The pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Most of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's cravings could always be accommodated. Uh, hare's head? I mean a hare's head. I can see people eat that. I don't know. I don't know about you. I can see that. And yeah, go rest. You, you have the new Harbinger of Doom in you. Oh, they won the war against the one province miner? No way. How did they do that? <laughs> I don't know. That's impressive. Anyway, they're sitting over here. We're gonna immediately go up and catch them, I think. We are winning this war as of right now, so I think I feel good about this. She is much healthier and ready to deliver a strong child. Yeah, treat my daughter, please. Also, that is not a strong child if you have to treat her. Alright, he's done it. He's done it. And we're going to take a penalty here, but I think we're going to win. Let's try it out. I, I think we're going to easily win this. Boom. I can have your office. You think I care? Easy money. We tore him apart. Good lord. Does anybody else want to join me? Oh, they already called him. And they all said no. Well, that's bad. If you didn't know, it is quite bad. We are currently killing a lot of people, but I'll be real with you. I think we'll be fine. Yet another son. Man, this court tutor was the best idea we've ever had. Release all prisoners. I'm not going to release anybody. Who are you? Oh, you are an ogres. And nobody else gets to live. Easy money. As they say. God, I love conquering. Honestly, there's a point in this playthrough where, I was, where I'm just like, I need to conquer and kill and murder. Because this is actually just... Man, this is lovely. A lot of fun. So many holdings that need be pillaged. I'm gonna create yet another new clan, I think. Split clan? Let's get rid of Paris Lava Shore. Then I'm gonna give you... Barlad? Where's that? What? Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, down there. No, 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 no. Sure, you get Copa. Whatever, my man. You keep it, and I destroy the temples, you hear me? Oh, one more? Hmm. Why do you take Filan? Place of betrayal. They all hate me. So damn much. I'm not gonna settle as a tribe here. Are you crazy? But yeah, let me absolutely tell me in the comments what you think about the idea of going Satanist. It's not something that you see often, you know. I haven't seen it anywhere, but I mean, I don't watch that much YouTube, so you may have seen it somewhere. I'm gonna also create those kingdoms just because it's cool to have them. Why wouldn't you do it, right? Why wouldn't you? I need to pillage some of these holdings, please. That's, yes, pillageable. Wait a minute. That is pillageable, actually. Yes, absolutely. Pillage them, boys. Pillage them, boys. And that's it. All right. All of the pillaging here has been done. And we are all of a sudden ordering Constantina. The mother of cities. Oh, well, I mean, not really. But you know what I'm saying, aren't you? Uh, don't you? Let's do a subordination. I think of Krim. Absolutely. Looks like, looks absolutely hideous, but at the same time, brings us closer to our holy place. In case we do actually want to reform Tengri, that is the way to go. And we have a minor clan uprising. Of course we do. Of course! What do you mean it's weird to have these really strange-ass uprisings everywhere? Ah... Uh... Every time. Are they actually coming for me, I wonder? I think they are. It's kind of fucky. I think we need to move on here. What's the Duchy of the Krim, actually? This one. Alright, so nobody's 
currently rebelling here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way so that they, yeah, 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 so that they stop caring for me. You know, that's the important bit here. Oh, she's, Chief Fedot is dead. Damn, what happened? How did that happen, huh? No idea. No idea. Now, I need everyone to actually positively attach themselves to me because otherwise we might have a problem. Get rid of them all, of course, as you do. Is there anything in here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this clan uprising, a bit upsetting, but I think we'll be fine. Battle of Yegolik. Damn. It struck me down somehow. I hate that event because it gives you the impression that you got hurt, but actually nothing happens. So, I don't know. I don't know what they meant by that, but there you go. A horde is ravaged, pillaged, and looted. Alright, that's a victory right here in my books. Boom. Look at that expansion! Are we the quickest expanding force in the universe? Because it looks like it. Frankly, it really does look like it. And we've now surrounded the patch and eggs and everything. It, it looks a bit strange. I'll be real with you. It looks strange, but border gore is normal in the medieval time. I wouldn't feel too bad about it. I want to give you... No, I'm going to give you Kiev. Sure. I'm the king of Kiev, but you can have Kiev. All right, buddy. Don't you worry about it. I'm going to actually give you Ergis, absolutely. Then I'm going to give you... This one, sure. Podolia. There you go. Now every... Wait, what? Still one more? Alright, I'll guess. Give you... Brr. Ah, yes. Krim is actually empty. I can give him that. Absolutely. Where's the holy site? Is it Krim itself? Because if so, then I will actually have to go on and build it here, yeah. Build a temple. Then we have three out of four holy sites. So the question really slowly comes up. I don't know. I think Yakbu Inal II, the vengeful of Chelbe, he's still possessed. But probably if, if his heir comes into power quickly enough, he's probably going to reform the Tengri faith. I'm going to say it. I think he will. While he would probably turn to the Church of Satan. Not that he could do that right now, because apparently you need to be uh, the, the Black Khan, which we evidently aren't. I mean, let's look at the naming of things, and you will know that that's not the case, but, you know. Yeah, no, okay, nobody wants to fight there, that's okay. I don't, we don't need to fight them there. That's alright. Nobody wants to fight that either. Oh, the Pachinakes just took all of this, huh? It's pretty big. Frankly, that is pretty big indeed. We're up to 30k, but also 58k population max. Are you crazy? It's gonna take ages until we can stage an invasion with these with these numbers. You know what? Give me some more soldiers. Give me some more archers here. Arrow slingers are my favorite uh, units here on horses, if possible. Oh, right. We still have... I. You know what? I genuinely forgot that there was a clan uprising. For like five seconds. Or actually five minutes. Alright, 28 minutes in. Tell me what you think. There's so many interesting choices that we can actually get going here. I'm not sure myself. I'll be real with you. And I'm not going to be like, oh, the majority wins. I don't, you know, majority votes are one thing. But what matters way, way more to me is what makes the most sense. Has anybody tried the... Uh, wait, where's this one? Ah. Oh. Has anybody tried this uh, Church of Satan mod? It's called Satanism Plus, I believe. I want to I wanna try it because it looks really cool. And if I can utilize that, why wouldn't I, you know? One of those things. Why wouldn't you do it? Got rid of him. Easy money. They are more people, but I think we can beat them up. What? Why would he do that? Why would he declare that war? Are you stupid? I think he's stupid. Alright, let's just beat him up here. We can get him here. Easy money. They're also coming. I think we're going to tear through them here. And I'm, of course, going to try to teach him to be an inspiring leader. Yeah, would you look at that? They didn't even come over. This rebellion is dealt with. Let me tell you straight. After a lengthy discussion, blah, blah, well, I'm bored. Let's head down to the camp and have some fun with the peasants. Absolutely. Mutlu and I are riding down the camp at a lazy trot. As we pass by some children playing in front, playing in front of an impressive yard, I'm suddenly overcome with hatred and revulsion. Somebody's clearly favored by Tungak. Absolutely. Let's get rid of him. 
All right, I'm not gonna re read that flavor text. You know it all what it says, and I will become arbitrary, please. Yes. God, I love being arbitrary in these games. And now we go beat up you, I guess. What a foolish invasion. What was he thinking? I will use the corpses to fertilize the fields. Yes. We need to bring up our... Oh, we're down to 54k. That's nice. 54k. I think we need about like 35, 36 or 37. Something like that anyway. To fill up our... Uh, our 75% requirement to actually stage an invasion. And we are going to stage an invasion, let me tell you. And we don't even need to stage it against the Pechenegs anymore. Bring back the spoils, by the way. We're looting our own land. I love it. I love doing looting our own land, you know? It's gorgeous. Do I, did I imprison you? No. My plan is to stage an invasion directly here against the Byzantines. They are as weak as ever. Invasion of Bulgaria. Let's go, boys. This is the time. I think, I think we're going to invade the Balkans, all right? Because this looks like the perfect angle. We could do Liatuva, but there's nothing in there. I think Church of Satan Bulgaria is my current favorite if it is this character that does it. If it is not this character that does it, then I don't know what we'll be looking at. All right, that was over, I guess. If it's our son, then we might not want to do any of that. You know, it's it's a... Uh, it's a difficult choice. Anyway, for the time being, thank you so much for watching. The rest of the world looks normal. We have Lombardy free and Burgundy free again after quickly uniting with uh, the Hungarians. The French are, however, remaining under the French crown, it appears. Interesting. Other than that, we have Denmark. Huge. Right up here in the face of the English. Konungr Total is the king of, Den uh, of Denmark. Hmm, interesting. They're really making a name for themselves in the islands yet again. Reminds me of a different playthrough, don't worry about it. Fatimids in the meantime are holding on and Chelbia stands supreme. Now with uh, three holy t uh, holy sites. There you go, yeah. I mean, we just have to build this up, I guess, but then it's going to be three. And everybody's going to be very, very happy. Actually, let's roll it to October. 10th of, uh, 10th of October It's going to give us the opportunity here. Do we still have a truce? We do. So I can't revoke anything you own, which is a bit of a pain. Maybe want to beat you up instead? Could duel him. They don't even want it. Are you kidding me? Back Aksangar of Mogut. He's possessed. Why does he why is he so against it? Can I buy a favor, my friend? No, apparently not. Well. We own so many hospitals. Jesus, what are, what are all these hospitals doing here? I didn't order this many hospitals. Give me... Uh, just population growth, please. Thank you so much. So our population growth is currently plus 28% from Kanbalik. It's, it's incredible. You see these numbers? Those numbers aren't rookie numbers anymore. They are pretty good numbers and everybody hates doing this. Huh? Doesn't want to sell me a favor. What if I make him the Kundu? Sign of approval. So if I declare war here right now, well, just really doesn't want to sell me in favor. Huh? All right, that's okay. We're still young. We got years to go. Let's wait until October. Then we're going to have the temple built. And from there on out, I'm waiting for your feedback. Let me know what you think about this entire endeavor. Whether we should go Satanist. Maybe something entirely else. Maybe Muslim. Maybe Tangri Reformation. Let me, let me know all about it. Like, Umur expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. Eh, not really. He likes me enough. <laughs> Stupid decision making, I know, but still, he likes me enough. It's fine. Um, let me know. What do you think makes the most sense for Yabgul, uh, Yabgu Inal II? I'm telling you straight up, I think Satan. I think tomorrow we're going to end up here with the Satan mod, and we're going to do a really crazy playthrough anyway. See you tomorrow. Later, alligator.